Welcome to the Monday Minute, our weekly video highlighting a useful way for your church to use technology. This week, we'll be learning ways to set up multiple displays, like a confidence monitor, in Proclaim. If you've never set up a projector, TV, or monitor before, don't worry. At the end of this video, you'll be able to go from connecting the cable to configuring exactly what you want on each screen. Let's begin by connecting your display to your computer. Most displays use an HDMI cable to connect the computer to the screen. Your display may use a DVI or SDI cable instead of HDMI. All of these cables do the same thing, and we only need one running from the back of the display to the computer. Now that our second display is connected to the computer, let's make sure it's set up correctly in our display settings. On Windows, we can open these settings by pressing the Start key and typing in Display Settings. Select Extend These Displays from the Multiple Displays drop-down and click Apply. On Mac, we'll open up System Preferences and select Displays from the list. Under the Arrangement tab, make sure that Mirror Displays is unchecked. We're almost done setting up. Our last step is to tell Proclaim what to show on our new display. Let's open the app and go into the Display tab of the Settings menu. Here at the top, we can decide what to show on each monitor. If you're not sure which monitor is which, click Identify. The number in the middle of the screen corresponds to the number in the monitors list in Proclaim. Let's click the drop-down next to number 1 to go through our options. The Slides output shows our presentation in its polished form. This is the option we want to choose for the display that faces the congregation. If you have multiple displays facing members of your congregation, you can set them all to display the slides view. The second option is for a confidence output. This is a high contrast, text-only view of the slides in our presentation. There are many uses for a confidence output, but most commonly it's used for musicians to follow lyrics or for the pastor to get an at-a-glance view of their sermon slides. Let's set our new secondary display to be a confidence output. Notice how all the checkboxes just lit up? We can customize what we want to appear on the confidence monitor depending on the preferences of the person using it. Let's check all the boxes to show the available information for the confidence output. Once we close the settings menu and go on air, we can see the confidence output on the second display. At the top is the title of our service item, in this case the song Amazing Grace. If we've set up recording cues in our presentation, we can see how long we've been recording in the top right. The lyrics for the current slide are in the middle of the screen, and a preview of the next slide's lyrics is at the bottom for our musicians. Let's go back to the settings menu to see our last display option, Notes View. Much like the confidence monitor, the notes view is high contrast and text only. Whether you've imported notes from the Logos 7 sermon editor or added them to the notes tab of a service item, they'll appear on this display. In case you haven't added notes, it's the tab between content and signals in every service item. Let's take a quick look at one last feature, the confidence monitor timer. In the Add Item menu, we can add Confidence Monitor Timer cues. Let's add one at the beginning and the end of our sermon section to help our pastor stay on schedule without going over time. These cues are customizable timers that only appear on the Confidence Monitor, or in the Notes view if you check this box. We can count up or count down until we reach the stop cue at the end of the sermon. The duration can either be a set amount of time, like 10 minutes, or a specific time of day, like 10.30 a.m. Tune in next week for a new Proclaim Monday Minute, and if you haven't already, go to proclaimonline.com download to try Proclaim free for 30 days.